official intro for this video but i wanted to jump in here and do this really quickly i have two things here for you guys today first of all verse of the day comes from hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 it says for the word of god is alive and powerful it is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword cutting between soul and spirit between joint and marrow it exposes our innermost thoughts and desires if you'll just pick up the word of god maybe it's uh just five minutes a day maybe it's just one sentence a day maybe it's just one verse of the day pick it up and read the bible and it will change your life go into it with an open mind and thought process and ask the lord to be present and change your heart help you to understand ask the holy spirit to be present and i promise you that that your life will be changed now moving on from that i have here the giveaway from the big buck video that I did just uh, like three or four weeks ago I told you guys that I was gonna be doing a giveaway on whoever guessed closest to the actual weight of that big buck that I shot and if you guys haven't seen that video yet link will be in the description below um, there was like over 200 comments here and there was a bunch of them that I had to go through and my scale was acting pretty uh, silly to say the least uh, I would get that deer strung up in the tree and then it would say 80 pounds then I would since I know that 80 that that deer weighed more than 80 pounds I would drop it back down on the ground winch it back up and it was still telling me that it was like 60 pounds so I turned it off and replaced the batteries and that seemed to fix the problem that I had as I'm going through here like I said there was over 200 comments on this video so it took me a little while and it's still kind of taking me a little while I'm trying to do this on the fly to see to figure out and see who was the closest and uh, there were so many of you that were so close and when I say so close I'm talking like there was a guy that was nine tenths of a pound off there's a guy that was three quarters of a pound off and I'm still kind of going through some of these I've been through the majority of them so far um, let me see there's got to be I want to say that there was somebody that was like right on the money um, with the actual weight somebody said 130 pounds on that big white tail buck and uh, <laughs> I don't even think he weighed I think he weighed more than 130 pounds after he was field dressed. I have yet to score my buck to know like an actual score, but I will do that at some point, more than likely. Then there's somebody with a comment right here, because like I told you guys, I'm going through here. They said, what a giant corn fed buck. How much did it cost you to harvest that fenced in deer? <laughs> uh, well, Jerry Scray, uh, since I'm calling you out here, you are obviously ignorant as to the property that I'm hunting. I mean, if you just weren't so quick to jump and make conclusions you'd know that the the lease that i hunt is in fact uh, low fence uh, originally i thought that the deer was going to go over 200 pounds and i still believe that he did but i had such a weird problem with my scale and i've never had issues with that scale and so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to replace the batteries one more time with batteries that i know are brand new and then i'm going to hang myself from it like with a rope or something i'm going to hang from that scale and that will tell me if it's on or not because I know how much I weigh okay so I have a winner here took me forever but mr. Edward Busby if you're watching you sir are the winner of the binocular harness giveaway I have another one that I'm gonna be giving away it's actually a really nice one and I'm gonna show it to you guys here before we jump into this video but he guessed that the deer the buck before it was field dressed was 183 pounds and that is exactly what my scale gave me it was 183 pounds so edward busby send me an email my email is down in the description below and as well if you have instagram or facebook or any other kind of social medias you can find me there as well and send me a message over and uh, send me your address i will get you that binocular harness sent out thank you guys so very much for watching and for participating in these giveaways i plan to do just about one in every video from here on out i've got uh, lots of cool little stuff that I want to share with you guys little things and then eventually I'm going to do a hunt it'll probably be at the end of the year I'm going to give away a hunt out to the Real McCoy Ranch probably like a two-day uh, one hog type of hunt or a couple of hogs type of hunt it should be really really fun and like I said probably doing that at the end of the year but with all that being said you guys enjoy this video it was a really fun one and we uh, ended up or I say we Rick who was hunting with us this weekend super great super awesome guy i really appreciate him and every other one of you guys that come out to the real mccoy ranch and hunt with us um, he had a fantastic weekend to say the least starting with a pig and ending it out with a fallow and i can't wait to show you that video but for now let's jump into this hog hunt Hello. 
weekend here at the Real McCoy Ranch. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this one. I have a special guest, Mr. Rick, and uh, he is our, our hunter for the weekend. He's actually a viewer, and we really appreciate it. each and every one of you guys coming out and supporting the ranch. Um, we just got settled in. It is Thursday evening, and typically we don't get a Thursday evening sit in, so this is going to work out great for us. Jerry Nino, the ranch owner, is fixing to jump in the bond with us, and um, we're going to get all settled in and get quiet, but should be a great weekend. It's the opening reef weekend of rifle season, and the weather is just perfect. So we're hoping for the best here. We're hunting axis this afternoon through the weekend, and um, if you guys want to come hunt, all the information will be down in the description below. So with that being said, we're going to get to it. At least we don't have a far tracking job. Yeah. <clears throat> Wanna tell us a little bit about it? Well, it was an interesting, interesting evening, but we we got it done, man. They came in, they circled around. We had pigs circling around all evening. <laughs> Congrats, they would buddy. not sit still. They so would not sit done. still. You made a perfect shot. I'll let you grab on to him first. We know he's good and good and toast. Nice eater. Not your first pig with a bow, right? Actually, it is. Is it really? Yes. Yeah, well, double extra congratulations. Man, that's going to be perfect eats. <laughs> oh, yeah. Plenty healthy, plenty fat. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Let's check out that arrow. Oscut head covered in mud. I haven't seen a three blade one from them. Pretty wicked looking. Very nice. Yep, we're gonna load this pig up and get it back to the skin and shed and get it strung up and cleaned. It's kind of getting chilly out here. First cool front, cold front actually. We don't we don't have to say cool front anymore. We can say cold front. It's officially gonna get down in the 40s tonight. It's gonna be an awesome weekend of hunting. We just broke the ice right here. So let's roll back to camp, see what kind of business we can get into over there. I cannot see anything. I'm blind with that light yeah, in my face. <laughs> this is currently the next day here at the Real McCoy Ranch. It's actually uh, about 8.30 on a Friday morning. We have a long, busy day of hunting ahead of us. And as I've told you guys before, we don't do super, super early morning hunts. It's an enormous waste of time. We have tried it time and time again. Over the last, well, not just me personally, but over the last 20 years, it's been tried time and time again, and it just does not ever work out. So we usually get up about 8, 8.30, and then have us a, a great mid-morning sit from about 10.30 when it first starts to really warm up, especially here in these winter months, to about um, noon to 12.30, sometimes 1, 1 1.30, just depending on what we're seeing around us come back in, grab a, a little bit of a late lunch, something to snack on, turn around, head back out uh, in the afternoon. And this time of year when it starts getting dark, dark at like 6.30, 7 o'clock, we try to get in about three. We wanna have a solid three to four hours, both in our mid-morning to midday sit, as well as uh, our late evening sit as well. So like I said, uh, lots of hunting today. We're gonna go have a couple of cups of coffee get to waking up and um, I didn't do a whole lot of filming after the fact um, that, that this hog hunt so but I hope that you guys still enjoyed it Just, you don't have to be considerate of the, the laws the rules and whatnot um, normally I show you guys the scanning process and all that good stuff but 
we just came back, took some pictures, and then uh, called it a night just about. <laughs> um, played a couple of games of pool in the in the uh, great room, but just all around having a great time with Mr. Rick, and we really appreciate him coming out. Hope that you guys will do the same. Y'all are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, my email and all my social media is down in the description below, as well as the price list and all the information that you need to come out and hunt at the Rebel Corn Ranch. Come and see us. Come have a great time. Come shoot some awesome trophy animals. We'd love to have you. But until then, we'll see you in just a few days. Had their own sins down to the river. Every man has felt the shame. All our love, it runs the same. Father, hear us as we pray.